welcome back today i'm going to show you how to crochet that poncho and it's very easy and simple if you have not subscribed please subscribe to my channel and this is all you need to crochet with i'm going to use three different colors of yarn you can even use uh, only one color but in mine i wanted a, a colorful poncho so i'm going to use three different kind of yarn and i'm also going to use uh, a tape measure and not necessarily if you have the measurement and uh, scissors of course and two different types of crochet i'm going to use size 3.0 and also size 3.5 millimeter so you can use bigger than those crochet but the more small the crochet the more beautiful the poncho so we are going to start by crocheting chain 80 then we'll divide it by three by four then chain eight one two three five six seven eight nine ten fifteen 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 we're going to finish by chain eight and when you come back i'll show you how to start line one i've decided to do a small chain and i'll divide it into two to show you the sample only because when you do chain eight it will take long so uh, in first line we're going just to do double crochet double crochet all through until you reach the end so chain eight is uh, all the medium size it's a normal size eh? so you can do smaller one chain 75 or you can reduce the way you like yourself if you want like a small one just do chain 554 every space so we are going to chain like this this is a double crochet until we read the end here let's meet at the end here this is it if you have already done numerous chain eight you go around one like this then you turn by chaining two and this one will not count as a stitch so we start immediately and we are going to go at the back you're going to use the back loop only you do a double crochet the back loop only remember when you turn do just two sing do do chain two then you turn immediately because we'll not count this one as a stitch it will be looking like this so we are going to repeat a uh, line two uh we are going to repeat at least five line then we come back i, I show you how to join the next the next color we are here at the end i told you this is a sample so i'm just going to have three rows but you can start with the five rows black then you go to one, two rolls white then uh, five rows uh, gray but you can also decide to go three lines like this then you do one line white then three lines but that one will not look as beautiful as five or four lines every four lines you put two lines of white every four lines of gray you put one line of white like that so at the end here before you finish you just do like this then when you reach here before you turn you put another yarn i always like to remove my yarn from inside here like that uh, then i can cut here and use only this one first then you make a loop like that after that you do like this you pull this one like that then you chain one you chain two after you that you do that you turn but we are going to hide all this so you use the back loop only you turn you turn like this use the back loop and then you turn like that so after you have already done that 
you can now cut this black one but in you cut in a way that you will also hide this if you want all of it you cut then you continue that line like that so you see it's looking neat you can't know where you started from when you turn you'll turn then the way i've told you so we are going to repeat this line uh, on the line and the white line we're only going two rows after every color we'll be doing two rows of white after every color i'll be doing two rows of it of white let me come back and show you how it looks like so you're going to repeat this one after finishing this you'll only add a gray one let's finish this two line and then i'll show you how to add the gray one so we are here at the end of uh, these two lines of uh, white so at the loop here the, the one that we started i told you it's not uh, count like a chain at the end of it you just do a half double crochet like this then you leave it like that at that place then we take another color which is a uh, gray we start with a gray one and always remember you do like that make a loop after you make a loop you put here you pull it out then chain two after you chain two you make sure you put it at the back and always whenever you finish you, whenever you start joining at this place remember always you'll be starting to join at this side so make sure your lines will go then come back to this side uh, to make it very neat you see it's very neat so we are going back i told you this one it doesn't count as a chain so you put them at the back so that you hide them whenever you you cut your yarn they'll be seen as very neat eh? you hold this two then we are using the back loop on the immediately after the chain you do a double crochet so we are going to continue like this and then i'll come back and show you how it looks like this is how it looks you see they are joining very well you may even don't uh, you may even think uh the yarn was like that without joining and the joining is very perfect so we are going to do like this at least more than uh, you can do 60 60 rows or you can do 56 or only 52 rows for mine i'll do 52 rows and this is how it will be looking like this is how our sheet will be looking like i've not finished yet but this is how it looks like so you can start with white i always like to start with white or to start with black so you can start with white color then you put black for row then you put two row of white then you put one two three four five six row it depends on how many rows you want the more rows uh the the more rows the more a, a new patterns look like so you can even do two, two rows or three rows but this is the way i like mine i only did one two three four five six row every six row I put two every six row I put two if you have not subscribed please subscribe to my channel and support me and uh i don't take for granted those who have subscribed i thank you very much and we are going to do the second part the second part we are just going to continue with this uh, uh sample and we are going to divide it so if yours is 80 you divide it into four so it will be Row, row one row two row three so the three chain it will be inside here so this is how we continue so we'll divide like this let's continue with this one i've done one two three four five six seven assume it's yours it's 20 8 9 and 10 let's assume if it's uh, 80 you will be i've done 20 after 20 
you chain 13 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 if you join 13 you come at the back here and fix this one here like this then you pull it out like that after that you continue with your your rows like that you do another 10 another 10 and you're going to do the same this is one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten after ten i'm going to do another one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten remember this is just a sample because uh, when i do chain eight it will check long before you uh, know the basics this is another one so you're going to do like this we do another one here then i'll show you how to go about it after this row and this is it we are at the end um whenever you turn i told you you chain two not three one two then you go immediately the first loop because chain two will not count as a, a chain to make it look neat and straight without any any loops any holes eh? like that and make sure when you are dividing here will be the same as here and here and here let it be the same uh here will be three 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 loops here one two three so not four then when you turn let's show you how you do it when you reach at the chain 13 always chain 13 or you can reduce the chain depending on the hook that you are using mine i'll chain 13 because i'm using 3.0 millimeter so when at, at the end here you hold this one we are going to go through inside here going to do at least 21 because we have done chain 13 21 will make it full inside here but if you cannot go 21 if 21 doesn't look very neat you can continue until you fill this hole it's not a must to be 21 but mine i realized that when i crochet uh 13 or 15 21 21 or 25 would be enough to fill inside here and make sure they all look the same so, so that you achieve what you're doing so this is row two after the chain that we did then you turn you turn like this from where you came from then you loop here you pull it out that just do a slip stitch eh? then immediately here you do another should be 10 because you've divided by 10 but if you're doing a medium side which i told you it's uh, chain uh, 80 while using 3.0 make sure inside here it's 20 in order for you not to confuse of what you are doing because sometimes if you confuse you can do more and your sheet will go like this will will end broad instead of going straight so if you want to go straight always it will not cost you to count inside here if it's 20. if it's not 20 make sure you reduce so we are here again we are going to repeat like this until we reach uh, the end so i told you you can feel here without counting but at least you make sure you have feel this hole very well in order for it to look neat like this so the word here is neat to look beautiful as you make the ribs i call it rings so these rings 
when you finish the hole you can also feel like it's full when you finish without even counting in order for you not to confuse then after you finish make sure you turn from where you came from then the last the last loop here is the one you slip stitch on it then you go back so continue like this let's meet as we and the next row i show you how to put another ring here on the third row of gray when you reach if you have counted 10 or if it's eight you have counted 20 on the on the uh, on the third uh, chain you just do like the one two three you count 13 again on the last chain that you have done you count 13 one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen on this last double crochet you go back again like that you slip stitch then you continue you continue like that and i told you make sure after you have done the chain you count here and it's 20. if it's not 20 just know you have added another chain and if it's 20 it will go straight as you can see this one it's very very much straight so we'll continue like this we are going to repeat these rows row one row two we are going to repeat row one and row two and this is the way it will be and let me show you the end product of this one and this is our sheet this is the front part of that sheet of ours and let me show you how to join these ribs together and this is the tactic on how to to put it you take the first one you put inside here then you take the next one like that then the first one you put inside then like this it's so easy and very much fun like that let me show you again uh, so that you won't forget you start from here you put this one inside the second one you put inside the first one then this you take the next one inside like that you continue until you reach the end i really it's, it's so much fun than even crocheting itself and it's a very beautiful rib if you like what i'm doing please subscribe to my channel And if you are new here, subscribe and you'll know more about my crochet. This is the way we do. Let me come back and show you how it looks after I've read all of them. so much fun as you can see at the end here this one will be we put a button here at the end we'll be putting a button here so that it will hold this one and look also beautiful so i'm going to do the same with this one always you take the first one the second one inside the first one like that the second one inside the first one this is how you rib it not confuse it's so easy just do it like that and it's an easy poncho and i'm only using a double crochet in each and every stitch that i'm doing like that i'm going to continue like this i'll show you the end product after i finish this is it it's looking beautiful 
you can see this is where we'll put our buttons here and please don't limit yourself you can do this two of them two two row instead of one because when you do two only two rows you get one so you can do four rows and get two of this one this one we did six rows so that we get three of this one so we can do eight rows so that we can get four of this one but for me i decided like this the trick is how to join your hole at the end and how to make sure here it's 20 20 20 20 this is eight i'm going to make a medium size see it's beautiful this is the front part by the way and we also have the back we have the back side the back it's plain because when you do all of them with the ribs it will be very very heavy but you can also do that but for me i wanted my back to be plain when i come back i'll show you how to join the two squares to be a poncho okay these are our sheets our two sheets so i always check this side uh, the sides are supposed to put the buttons so on this side of the button you take this end and join in this end like this it's supposed to be like this so we'll sew this together here at this end the first thing you should do you put at the end here like this and then at the end here so we sew them to you turn like this then you sew them together you can use a needle but me i always like to use crochet because if i want to untangle i can untangle so you do a slip stitch then you you do a slip stitch eh? do a knot then you slip stitch so mine i'll slip stitch just like that you put in the first one then the second one pull it through like that first one second one you pull through first one second one you pull through let's meet uh, at the end when i've already see you that line i've already finished you can see it's beautiful and because of slip stitch you 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 cannot see the the yarn that i've already joined together but you can use needle so we have this part that is very short and we have this part that is very long you take the shorter part and put this side and put this side like this you see at the end just take this is the shorter side this is the long side and this is the shorter side you pull the shorter side to this side at the end of this line and you sew them together so you do like this then you turn to to the wrong side and we sew them together turn to the wrong side then you also sew them together let's come if you have sewed together this is it i've finished so when you're finished you turn to correct side and this is how it will look like uh, others will prefer wearing without, without doing the binding but i prefer doing the binding this is how it looks like so you make sure it is straight like that then we are going to do we are going to make uh, we are going to make the uh, pull neck so when you have 
you have this side that is open this is our neck and make sure this side is straight so you make sure it's straight before you start doing our neck so that uh, we not have something that is not straight this is how it look like if you turn the other side this is the back this is how the back will look like like this and this is the neck so we are going to go around with a single crochet and you can use any color of yarn to start with because we have three types of yarn so you do a slip knot then you start from this corner like that we are going to chain two then we are going round with a double crochet just go round with a double crochet and let's meet at the end here just go round in every loop you put a double crochet all round at the end here We are almost at the end. You slip stitch on this first two chain, then you chain two again. So we have two ways you can go front post and back post, but uh, you can also decide to go two front post and two back post, and you can also decide to go one front post. And two back post that's the way you'll choose for me i've chosen front post and back post so when you reach here you can change the crochet to a bigger one so that you find something very beautiful and big and you can finish very easily and this is the way it will look when you do the first line so continue like that until you finish our pull neck and i'll meet when you are already done our pull neck 